Here we're going to test the modulating output of a T775M2048. We're going to simulate temperature conditions of a remote temperature controller. In this case, we've attached the temperature sensor, which comes with the unit, to sensor A, terminals T and T. We're going to power the unit up with a 24 volt transformer. This unit can be powered either with 24 volts AC or with line voltage here in this connection. While we're testing the modulating output today, this unit can have relay outputs as well, which are housed underneath uh, this cardboard in the bottom here. So we've powered the unit up, and we see the home screen here. Right now the ambient temperature in the room is 74 degrees. There's a few settings that we need to uh, confirm prior to testing. And one is in the, I call the front menu. And typically that's what the end user is going to have um, access to. All of these instructions are contained in an instruction booklet with the unit. It has a six digit reference number. In this case, the instructions are part number 620254. Here we're concerned with modulating one. The set point right now is 80 degrees. I can make that higher or lower by pressing the up or down arrow. I'm good with 80 degrees. The throttling range I have set for 10 degrees. Again, I can make it higher or lower with the uh, up and down scroll arrows. We're discussing sensor A. We only have one sensor uh, attached to it now and the process I have it set in is cooling that can be changed here and we exit that's really what we wanted to set up here um, now we can go to the back menu the back menu is for the installer purposes not the end user and you get to that menu by pressing and holding the menu button for five seconds that gets you into a back menu tells you how many sensors you have in this case one we're working in degrees Fahrenheit. We can leave those settings the way they are for our test purposes. The modulating output type is critical here. When you open the box, it's going to come set as 4 to 20. Uh, to make our testing easier, we're going to change that output to 0 to 10 volts DC. You see the other options here are 2 to 10 and series 90. We're going to go back to 0 to 10 VDC and leave it at that. For the most part, that's all the um, changes we need to make in the unit. And we're going to go back to our home menu. And we're going to simulate a modulating output by holding the sensor. Because we're set up in cooling, as our temperature rises, we're going to um, see this modulating output hopefully rise as well. And we can track that. Uh, both on the screen as well as with my meter here. These should be about the same. So my output should equal my modulating uh, display as well as my meter. And we want to see this rise to 100% as we get through our throttling range and up to uh, 90 degrees. So you see my output has risen to 100% on the display. My meter shows over 10, uh, 10 VDC output, so we're saying this is a good control. This tracked as the way it should.